Hey guys, we're back again with another ink video, in talks, in talks, pen and in talks. And I'm so excited because it's a bit gloomy today and the construction behind my house is quiet. That means I can film. So anyway, um, these are my 10 top, I mean my just 10 brown bottled ink collection and i want to choose or i want to share with you which one is my most favorite go-to brown pen and i would like also to shout out for those who watched my favorite green inks i have i will card it up here for those who haven't watched yet so i really appreciate your support for my channel and let's move on to our brown so first are greens and then browns in my ink collection um more colors shade because i love these two colors and i think next would be in the orange red deep reds but they didn't reach up to 10 bottles yet <laughs> so now i only have browns and greens that are in 10 bottles so i have this the latest acquisition which is the chukushi from pilot and i heard that this is already discontinued so i'm lucky this was a, a freebie basically because i got a buy two plus one so this is the plus one and second one is the espresso from diamine uh, it's celebrate it's the 150 years um ink uh edition and then the pelican idol sign uh smoky quartz this is my one and only at um, pelican ink for now and our fourth bottle here is the diatomantis document sepia brown so this is i think the permanent one among here and um this is the robert oster cafe crema my love and hate relationship with this ink <laughs> and my favorite again sailor fika this is like a limited edition one and Desert Burst by Diamine. Um, Lady Tay Urban, one of my uh, one of the most top rated inks in the community. Cacao do Brazil, same from Urban. I'm sorry for the dust. <laughs> they are displayed nicely in my other writing desk. And pumpkin cake. So actually, I only have nine, and I was looking at which is the 10th bottle that i can consider a brown so this i think from Monteverde pumpkin cake so it has a shade of brown to red so this is the um um honorable mention oh my god okay so i'm gonna swatch all these 10 because in my traveler's notebook um swatching because if you've seen it here my past greens i did the same uh, and i saw some youtuber in the community that also recorded i think heidi heidi i forgot to i'm gonna tag the instagram account here so she archived all the inks in, in the ink journal i do have my own ink bottle journal but they are by brand Per bottle so this time i want to do it with colors so for my greens i just choose the top five but for the browns let us quickly take a look at them and let's see the if this archiving goes well so i don't buy that much ink often so i think this is it for this this color family brown okay so let's just i'm gonna use the Kakimori brass nib and my ever reliable Faber Castell cup and go. I featured this last time in my video. So let's get it on first. Easy to push it, like I said. And I'm gonna swatch them in no particular order yet. Like, unlike in my greens, that this is, uh, yeah, in my greens, wherein I chose only five so now i will not rank them first let us just enjoy the swatching moment and also the shading i'm not sure which one is yellowish which one is you know 
deep brown so let's just see later on Mm. So, pilot, the only thing with this brass nib is when you write in normal, it's, it tends to be so thick. She, he, she. So, I believe this is already discontinued. So, lucky me. Okay. So, this is our brown number one. I can only select later on, but you will find out as well that which bottle is more used. So, I can. I think I have to speed up this video. I hope you don't mind guys when I'm speeding up my videos sometimes because I just don't want to take so much of your time. Yeah. This is deep. And my other reliable towel. So this is a diamond. 150 years uh, espresso. That's why the bottle shape is like that. Ooh, yummers. Mm. Deep, deep, deep. Diamond espresso. This is one of the very first ink bottles that I acquired way back 2020 when I started this hobby. Okay, let's proceed on to our third brown. The Pelican Smoky Quartz. I always use this before with my Sailor Prera. Oh, sorry, Pilot Prera. And it's a good match. You can see. It's in a yellow tone, yellow undertone. So, Pelican Smoky Quartz. So I didn't have the time to categorize them according to their undertones or whatever the shading properties they have. Let's just grab them as per the line up. So this is the Diatramentis. Is this the Diatramentis Pia Brown? Permanent ink, okay. So, deep brown. To me, sepia is a um, bit of a yellowish, but yeah, vintage feel. So, is our the Atramentis contender okay it's more of just brown black to me okay and let's do this right last let's go to again I think this is more on the brighter lighter brown family this is the Robert Oster Cafe Crema again one of the most first few Robert Oster and most um, overrated inks that in his time <laughs> yeah so it's in the shade of brown, um, yellowish so it's still brown to me sorry if you don't find this way brown <laughs> Robert Oster Cafe Crema for my Robert Oster inks I'm so influenced by Aina she has a lot but yeah it's not so good much with my pen because they are either drying so we, we finished five and inks now our sixth in our collection is the sailor fika this is again limited edition sailor ink 
the time. Okay, sailor. Fika. I forgot to do a photo demo. <laughs> I really cannot talk and sketch. So the brown leafy thing there is missing. Let's go back to that later. Moving on to our seventh ink. It's the Diamond Desert Burst. I believe this is again another like the coffee crema. It's on the warmer yellow to brown. I see. It's this. But since I don't have much of yellow, this to me falls in the brown family. I categorize this in the brown family. Desert burst. Okay. So the noise is back because the rain stopped. I'm so sorry for the noise. But I hope you enjoy this type of videos. Swatching inks. And this is the most popular, I think, in, in his time as well, Urban. Lady Tay, inspired by pens and teas. This is again my one of my favorite. Later, I will select and let you know. Did I did this already? Let's make sure. <laughs> Amisha. So this is highly inspired by pens and teas. She also keeps mentioning one ink that is my Grail. I think. I've mentioned it in one of my videos, the Mont Blanc whiskey something <laughs> scented, which I can hardly, this is a bit dry ink as you can see, the Mont Blanc single malt, I don't think I'm gonna ever have that in hand, it's just a dream <laughs> living in this place, I went to Mont Blanc to ask that, but no longer it's, they told me that it's just in the other countries it's not here in Indonesia I don't know why it's like this but this ink is not well behaving in my kakimori brass nib and of course you're gonna hear the rain so it's just the rain or the construction people <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I live in a complex where house still growing. <laughs> They're still building. <laughs> Second urban ink is the Cacao de Brazil. I think this is again another dark shade. I have to la um, make my voice loud since the rain is louder than me. <laughs> I think. This mic is not that great. Okay. So this is our ninth brown ink. Oh, it's really, really that cacao feel. With purple undertone. I'm not sure if this kakimori is scratching the paper. But I don't put so much pressure. And it's like this. So. Cacao de Brazil. Brazil is the spelling. Okay. Urban. This is the least brown that I grabbed because yeah, it's looking like a gray. I should have known. Maybe I can put this in my Lamy Itoya. And last but not the least, my friends, for our brown favorites. <laughs> Or in my collection I only have 10 little story about this bottle I broke a um, few nails and scratched few fingers just to open this but the owner did warn me so yes Monteverde bottles gave me a phobia <laughs> okay I think this is in the maroon again like I said 
Mm-hmm, let's see. Please be brown. Oh, red. This is a failed. So I'm so sorry. I got um, what do you call this? Because I don't have my ninth bottle brown ink. So let's just pretend that this pumpkin cake Monte Verde is a brown. Anyway, part of the I haven't checked like the swatches of these before I made this video so we are having a deep red in our browns guys <laughs> failed because I was just looking at the bottle and the bottle says I mean look at this I'm gonna show you isn't this brown guys so if you're like me I look at the bottle and yes this is brown to me this is not this okay people fix your packaging <laughs> don't um, give us false hope anyway I have swatched this it's my fault I didn't check but yeah so overall I only have nine still I don't have a tenth bottle this is not a brown obviously but let us just I'm not <laughs> contented with this cafe crema missing something in here so let me draw just to give the uniformity of this spread okay so let me label my um I don't have a brown in my July. That's weird. Okay. Let's use this go to preppy here. I want to use a black. So these are the brown. Bottle. Inks. Ink. Collection. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And now to, cho to choose our best, and I will let you know also, I cannot do the five. I love them all except a few, but when it comes to brown, I'm having a hard time choosing. So, but for the top one on these categories, just ignore this Monteverde for now. <laughs> but yeah, these nine. My most favorite ink is da -da -da, drum roll this one the diamine espresso because one look at that sheening if you can see it's it has a green sheen to it and the erosuko is the chukushi is becoming like there's a red Christmasy but this one is really my favorite and the bottle says it all look let it settle down it's already half used okay I think that's I can only tell my top most because I love all of them but this is the least so top is the diamond espresso the 150 years edition I really love this ink and the least is the cacao because of the undertone that's more grayish faded type and it doesn't really fall into my liking i know all of you some really love this which is it's yours as well your opinion but see if i am to rate the second it's obviously the fika because they are very similar one is expensive one is not so so they are very close to each other i'm really sorry if you can pick up the colors because of the lighting it's gloomy but yeah these are my 10 favorite brown inks in my um collection and let me know in the comment section if you do love browns and what do you have that you feel that i need to try i really appreciate that i my 
collection never stops it's growing especially with browns and mints so i really appreciate if you can share yours as well i think that's it for now and i guess i'll see you in my next one bye